Hello everyone! We continue working with a complicated asymmetric dress. Today we'll show you how to edge a neckline with welts. We'll show you how to cut welts and how to attach them to neckline and lining. Today we'll be working just with welts. Both the front and the back necklines are asymmetric, so we don't need to fold fabric in half to cut welts. Due to the fact that the neckline is asymmetric, we need to draw the welts this way. The width of the welts will be 5 cm. I think that we'll try to show you the whole process. How to draw, cut, double and stitch welts. I remind you that the width is 5 cm. Do not forget to sign each welt, front or back, right or wrong sides. This is very important. Svetlana is helping me today. She always works accurately. Learn from her. I'll sign the welt, back welt, face. Next, we need to make a welt for the front. Due to the fact that the neckline is asymmetric, we could make welts only after stitching and adjusting shoulder seams. This is the only way to make accurate welts in such items. When Svetlana cuts and signs this welt, we will start cutting them of fabric. We are cutting the welts now. When we cut them, we'll double them with fabric adhesive. Next, we need to cut fabric adhesive. Notice that the bold details are signed. Back welt, face. Front welt, face. For the welts to be of the correct form, you need to iron them accurately. Do not change the form of the welts. Svetlana gently steams the welts so that they are the right form. It's very important to know how to iron items accurately and gently. Do not forget to cut the extra pieces of fabric adhesive after ironing. We should make items of good quality. Now we need to outline the welts on the lining. Notice that we've pinned them. After pinning, we've outlined them. Next, we need to move this line for 1.5 cm for cutting. The first line marks the welt and the second one – cutting line. Let's start cutting. We'll make a small notch here, so we need to double the angle of fabric adhesive.
This is the right side of the lining. And this is the right side of the welt. I remind you that it's very important to sign the asymmetric details. Now we'll tack the welt this way, starting from the notch and the angle. Now we're taking the welt to the lining. Don't make the first cut on the angle 7 mm long. It's better to cut a bit more later. If you cut too much, you won't be able to fix it. We've tacked the welt to the lining, so now we can go to a sewing machine to stitch the seam. I think that this tutorial is very useful. It's very important to know how to attach welts. Now we need to remove tacking and then we can go to an ironing desk. Have a look at the angle. This is how it should look like when it's made accurately. Do not forget to cut the angles of the seams. If you don't do it, the seams won't look that good. Next, we need to stitch the shoulder seams. It's very important to make the welts match. The width of the seam is 1 cm. At least it's 1 cm for us. You should stitch as much as you add for a seam. We are pressing the shoulder seams open. Next, we'll show you how the neckline looks like. and how to attach this detail to the dress itself. This is the front side. Now we'll pin it to the neckline of the dress. We're pinning the welt and the neckline face to face. First we need to pin the angles and the side seams. Do not forget to cut the angles of the seams. The lining with the welt and the dress itself are pinned face to face. Next we need to tack, stitch the neckline, remove tacking and iron the seam. We'll do it off the camera. I think that you'll manage to do it yourselves. Do not be afraid of complicated designs and asymmetric items. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. Web and Svetlana, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.